It's your boy Rick Muhammad, Brawler Sports Media, live in the building here at my associates, 3 kingsboxingcom I'm live here with my man, uh, gonna get his name right, Mark Castro, highly decorated amateur, just signed with Matchroom Boxing and Eddie Hearns, looking to be on the uh, Regis Frankers uh, show coming up, and Mark, Mark Maurice looking to fight, is that the fight you guys gonna try to work out? Uh, that's a possibility, there's a lot of still discussing it, and uh, Let the fans know a little bit about who who you are, uh, what kind of amateur background you've had, and what weight division you fight in, where you plan on taking your career now that you've turned pro. Uh, my name is Mark Castro. I'm from Fresno, California. Um, I'm a two-time amateur world champion and 17-time national champion with an amateur record of 177 wins and seven losses. That's an impeccable record, my brother. You've been busy. And how many years have you fought amateur to, to accomplish that many accolades? I've been boxing. I started boxing at the age of four. I started competing at the age of eight. And since the age of eight, I've been competing. And that's my record since. And your age is currently what right now? 20 years old. 20 years old. Uh, real quick, what did you think about the Wilder Fury uh, rematch? What, 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 what would you a, a, a advise Wilder that he would need to do to take that rematch in a third fight? And what did you think about their fight overall? So Fury did, got back in the gym, he worked, he came back, he adjusted, and all credit to Fury right now. And um, I feel like while there shouldn't be, it shouldn't be no time to make excuses, just get back in the gym and just get right, right to work. And I feel like just needs to throw more punches and just find a way to go after, um, go after Fury because he has, Wilder has a hell of a punch. Absolutely. For me personally, uh, Wilder, you know, I've interviewed him one-on-one. -on -one. He's a great guy. Uh, other than a world champion, he means so much more to us than that, especially for, you know, uh, the black black community. He uses that platform well to speak highly of people and motivate them, inspire us. Uh, the kind of guy that I know Wild is, I, I would say that he definitely needs to redeem himself. He's going to exercise that third fight. That's just the guy that he is because he feels like something has been taken from him. I'm sure he's going to get back in the gym, do the right thing, make the necessary on-the-spot corrections. Hopefully that's going to happen. But I wouldn't take that fight maybe to later this year, September, October, or maybe as early as 2021. What, what do you think about those uh, that analysis I just gave? Um, I feel like those are great analysis. Um, Wilder just got to be honest with himself, let himself know like what went wrong and understand what went wrong. And then he needs to have an honest conversation with himself and see what he wants because everybody can want this, but it matters what the fighter wants at the end of the day. Do you feel that the stoppage was justifiable by former Olympian, standout amateur, world champion, Mark Breland, that they should be blessed to have in their corner to have that experience to know when enough is enough and to save that man and his family from the grief of what the outcome could have been had he not stopped him? Yes, I feel like the stoppage is good because um, it's the trainer's job to make sure the guy, the fighter gets home to his family safe. And it's just making the third fight more interesting because Wilder didn't get knocked out. Wilder, Wilder was still on his feet. And just like the Ortiz fight when he came back and still won the fight, and the possible, you could, it's going to be a great third fight. And that's who he is. He's a people's champion. He has the heart of a lion. And like he says, when I go out, I go out on my shield. And he means that. But someone has to be his savior in that moment from recklessly ruining his life, his family's life. You know what I mean? Uh, with that being said, man, hey, much respect to you. Thank you for your time. Congratulations to you. Much success. Uh, real quick, tell them your name once again. And if you're watching Brawler Sports Media. My name is Mark Castro. I'm watching Brawler Sports Media. My man, it's your boy Rick Mohammed. Brawler Sports Media in the building with my associates. 3kingsboxing.com. I got more to come. Shondell Winners is fighting Joseph Parker this weekend from the shot. Big fight for him. Man, stand up, Shad Town, because if he wins this fight, he got a life changing experience coming up Saturday night. You got Mark, uh, Mikey Garcia is fighting uh, uh, Jesse Vargas. It's a great show here this Saturday night. Ford, Ford Center, we're live here in Frisco, Texas. Raw Sports Media, Rick Mohammed.